Hi there, it's midnight on a Wednesday, and you know what that means? It's time to rant about a kids' show. Comedy is subjective, you know? That's just true, you know? What you may think is funny, I may want to flush down a volcano. That's just... It's just how the world works. And um, when it comes to comedy, there are different types. There's sketch, stand-up. Internet. And then there's comedy for kids. And here's the thing with kids' comedy. When done right, it's marvellous. Kids have something to enjoy. When done wrong, which is sadly most of the time, it is a flaming pile of garbage. Anyway, completely unrelated, today we're going to be talking about the Kids Tonight Show. Have you ever been watching Jimmy Fallon and just thought, you know what, I just wish he was four kids, you know? And I wish there was a slide and a ball pit and all that stuff, you know? I just, for it to live up to its full potential, it really needs those things. And so luckily, Jimmy Fallon has, you know, graced us with this brand new show, the Kids Tonight Show. I want to get something out of the way first. My problem with the Kids Tonight Show is not the kids. They are fine, you know? I'm sure they're talented kids. They're here for a reason, obviously. My problem with the show is the writing. <sighs> I have never seen a piece of media intended for children that is more clearly written by adults. I'm just saying, because it is about to be 2022, or it probably is 2022 by the time this video comes out. And they are making Fortnite jokes. Cause they always floss it. <laughs> it's pretty exhausting, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So, so let's rewind a bit. Let, let's let's see how the show starts. We're gonna we're gonna go with the first episode. Then I've got a few more clips to show you. Okay, so the show starts with a kind of cold open thing, and we learn that Jimmy Fallon is going to be the guest for this episode. And I think he's a great choice for a guest because, uh, you know, kids love to laugh. Who else loves to laugh? Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> They're talking to each other, you know, they're, they're riffing, but, you know, he obviously can't be a part of the show properly because, you know, he's not a kid. So they're just trying to, and I quote, protect that kid vibe. Or protect that kid vibe. So, you know, he can't, he can't be a guest for now. And so, you know, the show gets started, we get a title sequence, which I feel very intimidated. It's the Kids Tonight Show! Mom, the Tonight Show kids are staring at me again. So, one of the first things you'll notice about the show is that the audience may or may not be held hostage because they will um, not shut up. You know when you're watching a show and you just wish, I wish the audience would interrupt more. That's, that's what the audience do here. They're just constantly... <laughs> get clapping you know it's a kids show it's a show but just take it down a notch please take it down a notch <laughs> and then so they come out and do a monologue and you know these are kids they're not gonna like cover the news or topical events so um what do they do they do joke book jokes um and by joke book jokes i mean like the kind of jokes you'd find in those like big joke books that have like 400 jokes for smart kids or idiot kids or kids in general and i think this is where the age of the writers starts to become very apparent because at the end of the monologue jimmy fallon slides on and then they all shout meatball, 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 meatball. because you know kids love ikea after a great few jokes <laughs> which didn't make my ears burn we then get to an interview segment and this bit is by far the best bit of the show because it's not too overly written he just talks about 
you know, his childhood and how he got into comedy. And then we descend right back into madness because we find out that there's a secret word that for some reason they have to talk about. And at some point in the show, someone's gonna completely unscripted say the word because they don't, they don't know what the word is. So it's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna happen. And then it's the mayhem buzzer. And am I making sense? Um, if I am, I, uh, could you explain it to me? Cause I don't know what's going on. What, what, what happens next? That's, that's a good question, I hear you ask. The thing that happens next is... Drumming. <laughs> the thing with this show is um, it constantly feels like my eardrums are being attacked. <sighs> but that it gets worse later, so, you know, let's continue. Then we play a game, you know, because kids do love games that's actually true we i've played monopoly a lot in the last week because it's the week of christmas as i film this and games are fun so let's see what let's see what games they play <laughs> they play insert game name here <laughs> this is a this is a perfectly good game you know and through most of it i don't really have much to say about it because it's like you know, it's perfectly acceptable. They're just playing the game with the silly string. And you know, they're all learning about each other. <sighs> and then someone says the mayhem word. <laughs> and as the name would suggest, everything descends into mayhem. <sighs> drugs were the editors on because i don't know what has to be going through your brain to edit that so that's about it for that episode they're relatively short episodes so the next clip i want to show you is when the d'amelios drop by um you know the d'amelios they are the tiktok girls and yes i am aware this is two videos in a row where i've talked about the d'amelio sisters but I film this one first and I won't ever again, probably, unless I do something really dumb or entertaining. No promises. The tick the TikTok girls, the TikTok kids. TikTok, 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 this is what that show is doing to me, oh my god. So you know, they ask some pretty basic questions about the humidity. Here you have the humidity, so you can walk out in LA and you'd be like, oh, it's hot. You can still like eat outside and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. But here you can walk outside and you're gonna be like, oh, oh. <laughs> That's that kid vibe. So I actually think the kids are okay at interviewing. Um, however, as soon as the show starts to get, you know, somewhat watchable um, to a capacity, uh, then something random happens. Like, why is there a robber coming across the screen? Like, that, make, that makes no sense. That, that makes no sense, okay? Thank you. So then they talk for a bit, and I think it's actually going pretty well at this point. <laughs> Not the mayhem again. Not the mayhem again. Please, somebody lock these editors away somewhere because I'm scared of the power they hold. Right, that's enough of this. It's late, but I still wanted to talk about this because it's 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 fun and it's it's not important. This is the important topics of today, you know, but it's it, it's just something I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I think there is a real issue when people are making content for kids because kids don't want to watch this stuff. Trying to be down with the kids, you know, is, 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 is it, it never works, you know, it never works. There's a small chance someone watching this wants to write television or, or like specifically kids content. Don't do this. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the love on the Christmas special. The love has been amazing. Uh, I've really felt it. So genuinely, thank you very much for watching that. Thank you for watching. Um, I thought I'd finish this video in a fun way. I thought I'd give you a little room tour, you know. Don't say it, don't spoil you. Here we go. So that's my bed. My desk, it's a keyboard. Okay, bye. I'm better than Burton, no, not Tim. I'm talking to Burton, I'm better than him. He can't play the bass for shit. The look on his face, when I pick it up. <laughs>